Hello and welcome to a workshop update. Um, had my birthday the other day, so I'm 17 now. And I did say that I was going to let everyone know about the compression start competition. So uh, I did struggle a bit because it was all pretty good. But um, I thought Joseph or Engine Lover One on the YouTube. He done quite a good job with his um, PH1, so uh, I think he's the winner. I do know that the PH1 doesn't have a very big flywheel, so to to start it the way he did was um, quite good. I know he bounced off compression, but uh, very good. So he's the winner. So well done, Joseph. Um, I don't know whether Steam Wally or Phil, as he's quite well known, um, done a winner for his competition. I can't really remember that, but. Yeah, um, just about to try and start this tilly and run it on heat and oil. So I've run out of paraffin. So I had um, people down college. They uh, bought me this lighter for my birthday because they know I've got all these lamps and that. So it's one of the liquid fuel ones. So it's quite handy. Um, Pet Ray sort of moved benches, as it were. Um, got our V done by. The 24th of March, so I've got to crack crack on and get it done. Really, there's not a lot to do. Really, still got to get that spring. I tried the engineers; they don't have a clue. They don't really know. They gave me an assortment box to look through, but it's no good. So I'm thinking about putting the one spring back in. Um, I think it, it ran right before. It was just the carburetor letting it down. That's why it was hunting really bad. So I think, yeah, I'll be able to do that. I painted the cowlings yesterday, or just one of them. Just, he ain't looking very good, but I think he'll fill in. I had to scrape a lot of the rust off yesterday um, as well. There's the axle for the trolley. You'll be having one more coat, I think. And uh, there's the handles for the trolley. They'll take a few days to dry. This black does take a long time. But um, there's the tappet chest cover with the breather. One of the cast iron ones. <clears throat> um, on the A11, this it's exactly the same casting as this, but this was blocked off, and it was aluminium. So it's quite interesting to learn about. Um, I have the tank for the Petter AA1 now. Um, sent the money by via post order to the bloke up country. It was during the time where we had bad weather. Well, we didn't have it, but up up country obviously did snow. And um, it took over a month to get to him. Um, first class post. So I wasn't too happy about that, but uh, I did get my tank in the end. Let's see if this will start now. Uh, needs pumping up, I think. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm getting another one of these. This is the X246B. Um, they still make these today. They're about £110 new. This one is not 1968, but 1966. So they started making these in 1964, so it's quite an early one. Uh, hang it up here a minute. And I will be getting, in the next week or two, I bought one off eBay, um, a Tilly Guardsman, the X246. Which is the earlier one of this. This is the B. Um, also, if you remember this, I haven't really shown anyone this very much, but this is the Bladen petrol blow lamp. It was my granddad's from New, he used to use when he was plumbing. He was carpenter by trade um, from the 1960s. I'm getting another one of these, but it hasn't got the pump on the side of it. It must be quite a bit older. It's a, it's, um, a Bermos. And I believe that um, Bladen was actually Bermoffs before they changed her name. I'm not too sure about that. Um, I'll show you the cowl in a minute. This is the bottom cowl in from the pet array. I'll show you the sort of condition that it was in. It still is. There we go, look. So the rust is just sort of lifted off all this paint. It's flaking off as I just rub it with my hands. And the back is the same. So I've got to strip this right off. Basically, start again. I'm gonna have this one done in, I think it's 18, 17 days, so I've gotta crack on. 
you will see a video soon on it but probably maybe next month I'll just put it all together and make a video well I'm gonna carry on with the restoration but what I mean is um, put a video on next month when I got more time I'll just put all the pictures and videos clips together because I'm still gonna carry on filming it so it ain't looking too bad not really um, started out the 5G the other day put a new plug in it now and it needs to start first or second pull from cold so it's quite good um, I'm going to go down to the cows house in a minute and show you a couple of other toys I got right so we're in the cows house now and as you can see look I've got this um, Akko lightweight mower not too sure of the width because it doesn't have a little brass plate but the engine stated the uh, uh, where is it I can't really remember yeah. um, 4th 1955 so uh, April I think yeah so it's a fair age one I've got to make new handles for it but I've had trouble I can't, can't get it to run um, it did work for a bit as there's a little strip mowed down the grass it's now growing back um, there I've got the chain cover it's over there but uh, it's broken uh, basically I can I can't, it won't start by kicker but uh, spin over the drill it'll run but just only run for about five seconds and just stop so it's got a fuel problem I think I'm thinking about getting a new coil for it as well but I can't really complain because uh, I got given this from an old chap He's quite a good, good bloke. I helped him set the timing on his uh, Rustin 6PB because he's uh, got a flywheel magneto, filio style. So I helped him with that and he's pretty thrilled. So he said, Here, you can have this. He also gave me a homemade charge set and it's got a German made hearth engine on it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. If I'm honest, I don't really want to use it for anything. Probably make it into something. He also gave me this big trolley. I'm just covered in rubbish because I'm a really untidy person. Um, it's got these nice casters on it. It's a nice sort of size for carrying around big engines. Um, yeah, so I was pretty grateful. He's also going to give me a Jap 5 and Jap 6. They are not complete, but said he, I can have them when I'm ready. So, yeah, it's good to have people that look after you, <laughs> in a way. No, he's come in because it's starting to rain. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, it's about sums it up for this time. I'll make another video soon. And yeah, well, thanks for watching.